All right, back. Um, Kendall Projects vlog post number two, I think. We're going to try to do these more often than not. Um, try to give you a better behind the scenes view on what's going on with the, in the studio, etc. But a really quick um, update recap from last week. Podcast went up last week, uh, about an hour and 45 minutes, both on SoundCloud and YouTube. There are clips of it on Instagram. Make sure you're following us on YouTube and on Instagram and like us on Facebook. That's Kindle Projects, all one word, um, lowercase, together, etc. Make sure you do that. Um, what's going on in the studio right now? We finish up sculptures. We're getting ready to launch the website, but I want to talk briefly about how I go about beginning a new project and what that entails and also in this uh, this vlog you're going to see some videos of the stuff that's behind me on the wall um, how that's processed and how we go through that but so what I usually do is I try to ask myself like a what if question like what if I combine these two different things about maybe personal history maybe something I'm interested in. It just depends. But I do a lot of kind of rehashing some old products, uh, products, projects that, so I don't have to, I'll make sure I'm not repeating myself. Um, maybe some undeveloped themes that I want to re, go back and re, work on or reinvestigate. Um, and then maybe realize that those old projects presented a new problem or something else I want to explore or deconstruct. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with the work that I make, most of the work deals with deconstruction, the deconstruction of masculinity. And that is a huge umbrella term that describes so many things that go on in the studio. Um, I started doing that years ago and it just seems to be this constant theme going over and over and over again. And there's, especially with the cultural climate going on right now, and the discussions about toxic masculinity and what, and what that means, um, I'm really realizing that it's a wealth of knowledge and it's constantly changing and it presents a real interesting subject matter because it's something that I deal with as a straight white male regardless but also it's informing a cultural discussion that is happening around much of the work that's been made in the past and is currently being made um, so something that has kind of happened as well with this and I mentioned this in the podcast is this idea that I used to talk about things from two perspectives like from an athlete and an ex-athlete perspective. I guess now the older I'm getting and as I go through this process once again and where I'm at in my own life, I'm realizing that I'm, it's less dealing with an ex-athlete and dealing with a athlete, maybe a middle-aged athlete, or something along those lines. Because like, it's, what I realized recently after coming out of teaching and the, the emotional stress and the emotional destruction that it did to me both mentally, I realized obviously that my health and my physical fitness has had diminished to a point of severe um, malnourishment, lack of a better term. And at one point, right after I quit teaching, I had a friend of mine come to me and I kind of guided in, him into triathlon and he kind of brought me back into the idea of doing triathlon again. Before I went to grad school at NYU, I competed in triathlon pretty extensively. Did sev several half Ironmans and countless shorter races and it's a sport that I love love more than I ever could have loved playing football and it's something that it makes you go to a place that you're not a uh, it's a spiritual journey as well as a physical journey and I had forgotten about my love for it, and I forgotten about that journey and he challenged challenged me to do a race with him 
on October 13th um, at Lake Murray Dam, a short race, but just kind of way of getting back in. And now the last 15 weeks, I think we've got after this week, it's three weeks before the race. I've been slowly but surely losing weight, getting back in shape. And during this process, I had kind of written about it years ago. I've always wanted to take that part of my life or love of athletics and combine it with art. And I just hadn't had distance from it. And I think now I'm starting to get some distance from it. So this new project that's behind me here, and a lot of these, we'll look at more in detail these images, is that idea of taking uh, triathlon and rock and roll and my artistic practice and this idea of masculinity, you know, putting it in and making it into like a soup that is producing, going to what it is producing new work. Um, and the stuff that I'm um, digesting or consuming online, the content that I'm consuming online, both to guide my physical fitness and health, uh, uh, it is also informing um, my this other thing in rock and roll and how that's kind of going in. So this it's starting to kind of germinate here behind me, uh, and with most of my work, there's a story a structure that I like to uh, work around. And right now, I, I've been kind of obsessed, not kind of, I'm obsessed with the ideas of Joseph Campbell and the hero's journey um, and how they may or may not apply with the idea of masculinity in today's society and how will I go about creating characters, performances, objects that all relate to that idea of the hero's journey and masculinity and where that's going to end up taking me. Right now I know for sure that I'm concentrating or focused on the idea of the ordeal. The hero is called to Avenger, adventure, steps into um, the unknown, um, basically goes into the abyss and is met with, with an ordeal. And I'm figuring out that ordeal. The ordeal is going to mimic that simple thing that I talked about is mixing uh, triathlon and art. I've never been able to balance them both con uh, simultaneously, ever in my art career. There was a time, there was a time where they overlapped, but one would take over the other. And so right now I'm really concentrating on trying to create a project project around the idea of combining fitness and masculinity art and how that mixes in together this may not make sense to a lot of people and to be perfectly honest with you it's not completely making sense in my brain I'm seeing images and objects that are starting to to inform them but like I said, I've never been able to do it. So right now, what's happening in the studio is I'm getting up in the morning, every morning, and training, and then coming into the studio and working, and then at night figuring out, hopefully, how it all is starting to make sense. I don't know where it's going. Um, I am excited about where, where it's leading me, but I don't know where it's going. Um, so... It's kind of like balancing both sides of myself that I've never been able to balance before. However, one thing I can say about this project is, or this the past is, I was more happy when I was physically fit and taking care of myself like that. But what would happen is, they the brain or the creative flow would kind of build up and then kind of explode, and then that would be um, some. Uh, kind of indulgence drinking and escapism I like to call a lubricant um, to get me outside of my head to try to make sense of it um, it has its place still but right now I'm trying to think about a way to combine that into a new project a new way of thinking about art and how I'm making it and also the objects that we're making so you're going to see some stuff that we're working on both here in the studio behind me 
as well as some other drawings and things that we're doing here in the studio. So come back. Uh, we're going to come back next time. I don't know when that's going to be. That might be in a couple days. Uh, now that I'm kind of throwing it out there, the introductions are over. Now you've got a sense of where we're at in the studio. I want to give you more update of that every time you come in. So once again, make sure you check us on Facebook. Like us on Facebook. Subscribe to YouTube for these videos, full videos, as well as Instagram with the shorter, more visual base, which I love. Um, I'm trying to post as much content on there to kind of fill everybody in and where we're going. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. So we'll see you again next time. And until then, please go out and see some art, whatever that is, in your local community. Um, go see an independent film, a film fest, an independent film festival that's maybe in your your area, go see some rock and roll music, go to the local wine place that has painting on the wall, get drunk, whatever you got to do, and um, digest some culture people, get out there and see some art and meet the people who are making it. More, most importantly, spend some money on your artists and your community. They need it like anybody else. So thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.